place some gel on the knee, place our transducer in a transverse plane, again with the marker pointing towards me, at the knee crease. We're going to slide our transducer slightly medial to identify the femoral condyle again as our bony landmark and then just superior and in the middle of the image there now we've got the gastrocnemius muscle or tendon. As we slide up we're looking for fluid to pull around that edge of that gastrocnemius muscle and now I'm going to slide down towards the calf again looking for fluid in that gastrocnemius muscle area. Back up again. Here we can see a tiny slither of fluid just underneath that gastrocnemius muscle. Is it an artifact, an isotropy, or is it real? So we're going to rotate into a longitudinal plane and sliding through that area. And there's possibly a tiny amount of fluid present in this region. It may not be causing the patient any symptoms, but it's something to be aware of. Now I'm going to slide more into the mid part of the knee joint. Again, I've got the two femoral condyles on each side of the image, and I'm just looking for any fluid in that knee joint in the mid portion. Sliding up and down. And again, as I'm sliding through, I notice a small hypoechoic area deep in the image there in the middle, which is possibly a small amount of fluid. And that's probably the connection with the small Baker cyst that we've seen medially. I'm rotating the transducer 90 degrees into a longitudinal plane. And there we can see that same fluid in the longitudinal plane, just sweeping through there and we've proven that it's a real structure. Sliding over more laterally and again just sliding up and down 